Hello beautiful people. Welcome back for another video and as you can tell from the title it's another courageous conversation. I am in my robe which means that we are about to do something. <laughs> we are about to get unready. I thought that the last one was getting makeup done. Now I'm getting ready to get unready and I'm actually about to test these pattern products by Tracy Ellis Ross. So um, yeah, let's jump in. Let's just jump into the video. As you can tell from the title, this is a 2.0 about friendship. Now I know the last one was talking about like dear fake friend and y'all, <laughs> I think I had to learn in my opinion, I had to learn by the way, anything that I'm using, I will link down below. I, I still have to do that for the last video. I'm just saying, so I apologize. It was definitely more about the talk than what I'm putting on my face, but sometimes people want to know that. You know what I'm saying? Um, It was more about, you know, the combo than what I was putting on my face. But this may be very interesting to you guys. So in the last video, it was Dear Fake Friend, and I honestly believe that in order to, you just have to go through that process because you really appreciate and you know what to bring to the table to a true friendship. So in today's video, I am going to also bring forth some, like some scriptures to just confirm what I'm saying and just as a backup of like where my references come because you know sometimes how people have information you're like where did they get that from um a lot of the information that i get and a lot of things are like inspired um definitely by god's word for me to share with you guys because you know that's where i get a lot of solutions i do receive solutions from people with wisdom that are around me and i want to give those people credit even people online that are inspiration to me just check the info box below and i'm definitely going to include the scriptures that i talk about today as well as anything in terms of if i need to give anybody credit it will definitely be linked down below if i do not mention it in the video it's going to be linked down below okay so so in the last video we did talk about fake friends and do's and don'ts things to learn lessons learned that i've learned in my life but in today's video we wanted to talk about how do you know when to end the relationship because it really wasn't a friendship okay if it was a friendship and that person is a friend not a friend a true friend or you know elevated even into like your family you know, how do I know when to end the relationship with a fake friend? Okay. How do I know? How do I end the relationship with the fake friend? Okay. Because I've had to do this as well. And, you know, you don't, you don't have to call them fake. You don't have to do all that kind of stuff. Now, sometimes, you know, you, it just comes to that end. You know what I mean? But sometimes you have to just, suck it up because I'm going to talk about this but a lot of the times these relationships we have formed and I'm going to get to why we formulate them and all of that stuff you know okay so I was listening to a minister and I want to say it's Transformation Church I cannot, I mean, I just randomly came across him. If I can find the video, I will link it down below. But he came with some scriptures, y'all, and it was like hitting me. I was like, amen. You know, amen is just a reference of, yes, I agree with you in church. But he was just coming with it, you guys. And the scripture that he talked about was, first of all, he talked, <laughs> first of all, the minister, he talked about, like a lot of these relationships we formulated and not God. And that is so true. I notice the, especially being not only a believer, but being one that is, uh, you know, wanting to do my best in the kingdom of God and wanting to move forward and progress. And now that I am in a leadership role at 
the ministry that I'm am that I'm in and in the body of Christ. I definitely want to better myself. I want to be a better person. I know all of us are in works in progress, but the word of God says, be holy for I am holy. Okay. And if I want to associate myself saying that I have a relationship with God, I, the truth, I have to be holy. I have to, you know, it disappoints me. It disappoints me when I disappoint God. So that includes friendships because one of the main places where we fail, I believe, is totally with the people around us. We don't know how we got it. We don't know, you know, just think all of the things that we have done, all the things that we communicate on a daily basis and say, a lot of times come from the conversations that we have. Case in point. Here on YouTube, if you look into the beauty community, one of the major words that they always use is I'm totally obsessed. Um, that came from a person saying that and, and it caught on and it caught on. How do I know that is because if you watch those videos and you hear that all of the, all of the time, that is something that you will find yourself saying, you know, another case in point, have you ever been around your best friend, your friend, people that you hang around all the time and they use these same type of words and then found yourself saying them. That's why the word of God says that evil, evil communication, corrupt good manners. It's because how can we communicate with things that are not like God and think that godly things are going to come out of us? It doesn't happen like that. It will always be a situation of conformity instead of transform transformation. So if I am around someone that's constantly evil, I know this constantly not on the same page as I am constantly gossiping constantly um, having malicious intents on other people strife clamor calamity has drama all the time I am infiltrating the law of osmosis will happen which means that that will permeate into my spirit and therefore I will start to manifest those things out in the atmosphere let me just say that proverbs chapter 27 is so so good it has so many golden nuggets about friendship and about people and relationships highly request if you just want to know anything about friendship about relationships go to proverbs chapter 27 read the entire chapter proverbs 27 and 17 says as iron sharpens iron so does a man sharpen another what does that mean that means that friendship a friend you should bring out the best in that person they should bring out the best in you you should be the best uh, iron sharpens iron it is that you remain sharp you're remaining um in your best condition friends should do that they should tell you the real even if it hurts your feelings it shouldn't be uh they shouldn't be the yes man and all of the time actually i want my friends to tell me no melissa you are wrong i was like man if i really looked into god's word i would have avoided so many things um i think that that is something that i definitely that's a lesson learned like really like saturating myself in God's word has helped me a lot in determining who's who. My my friends should bring out the best in me. My friends should make me sharp. I should make them sharp. It's a reciprocation of like information, of spirituality, of positivity. I'm not bringing the other person down. They're not lifting me up. I'm not the one lifting the person up and they're always verbally abusing me because there are those toxic relationships. I know you've heard of them. I know you've probably seen a lot of videos here on YouTube talking about toxic relationships and that's in that fake friend category. But right now we're talking about the positive friend. I think a lot of times here on YouTube, you hear people talk about the toxic relationship, but when you are out of that toxic relationship, have you talked about 
the good relationship or do you are you constantly getting into toxic relationships that's another question that i feel like we should ask ourselves because if that is happening we are the common denominator i hope that makes sense we are the common denominator if i am constantly getting into an abusive relationship i need to ask god to check me okay if i am getting into and we, I'm, i have something coming up about that about re abusive relationships and the red flags if I am constantly getting into relationships where I am a verbally abused, I need to figure out. I need to go to God and say, Lord, you are my creator. Show me where I'm going wrong. See, I, I definitely believe that there are things that we can go to people about, but let's go to God. I remember I was in prayer, y'all, and we talked about this and fake friends I was asking other people like solutions how do I do this how does this and I remember one time in prayer and God said in my in my devotional time with him why are you asking everyone and asking me last when you could have gotten the solution first through me rather than all the anguish, all the pain, all of the disruption of asking all the wrong people. And when I say wrong people, not that they didn't have a solution. But when you come to me first, I'll let you know and give you that confirmation of that solution that's going to work things out for you. So let me go. I'm going to wash my hair and then we will be back to the conversation. I know, I know. I know this is a little bit different, but I'm really excited because I'm switching it up. But let's go wash our hair um, with the hydration shampoo. Let's go. And I'm going to be putting the intensive conditioner for tight textures in as my deep conditioner. We'll be back. Um, by the way, I'm going to leave um, the information about the pa about pattern down below. My best friends, my friends should help me improve and I should make them help them improve and let me see no man is an island I really do believe you know there's a reason why friendship you know Jesus even had friends y'all come on and he had an inner circle you know he had people around him and then there was Peter James and John I'm just saying we need to learn something from the Lord <laughs> you know what I mean and there are just certain things, even in those, if you notice, there were certain times, even when Jesus pulled his inner circle aside and like, listen, let me, let me tell you, everybody else is not getting this, but there were people around him that followed him. But then there were other ones that he was like, listen, you teaching me something. Okay. I really do believe that we are, God intended us to be, you know, in the kingdom, a, a family, to have friendships. And those friendships should make me better. It should benefit my career. It should benefit my future. It should benefit my children. I should learn something. I should gain wisdom. Now, y'all, let's just get real, okay? I know you like, Melissa, girl, you, where are you getting this information from? Like, where you where are you getting this wisdom? Where are you spending this wisdom from? Y'all, I'm telling you, the word of God has so much information and just, you know, learning through experience. And when I say experience, experience does not mean that I constantly have to bump my head. Some things have been seen through observation. I'm just saying. But what I wanted to say is that Proverbs chapter 13, verses 20 says, He who walks with the wise grows wise wise. But a companion of fools suffer harm. Y'all, I don't have want to have a companion of fools. You know what I mean? And so um, if I am constantly on the negative side of things, if, if I'm gossiping, gossiping, is that gossip? If I'm gossiping, I don't know. I'm saying that kind of crazy. But if I'm constantly in turmoil if i'm constantly in the drama of things okay there's a difference between tests and trials and being in the midst of drama all the time i'm constantly being pulled into drama 
pull yourself out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. And I'm not just saying pull yourself out. Avoid it. Okay? Um, I remember um, someone came to me, and there is a difference between venting and gossiping, okay? And they began to talk to me about this person, and I stopped them immediately. Now, before, I just let them, ha like, let them speak their piece, you know? So they, and let me just say, truth, the truth will set you free, but just saying my truth, y'all, that's your opinion, okay? Truth is truth. Now, my truth is just saying I'm giving my opinion, okay? There is a truth that is when you speak the truth, truth, it's going to not only set you free, but it's going to set other people free. Like my truth may, it should not, it should benefit the other person. Not, I'm not saying it won't hurt their feelings, but overall, it should benefit them. If I am being a true friend to someone and that person is not being a true friend to me, that is iron, iron sharp it's not even sharpening it's dulling it's like iron and wood wood dulls the metal and so iron sharpens iron is a i'm making you better you making me better i am pouring into your spirit and you're pouring into mine and when i say your spirit i'm referring to the mind okay when we pour into someone we should not always be the one on e i'm just saying that pouring should always be something that's reciprocated and balanced you know what i mean okay so we talked about you know friendship we talked about a good friendship that is what is supposed to do that's what it looks like and again I will give you another scripture from the Word of God and it says that a friend loves at all times and a brother is born in adversity what does that mean like no matter what your friends are gonna be like girl I got you that you you doing the wrong thing I love you a brother being born in adversity is kind of like the example that I gave last time of like when I needed someone the most, my girl CJ came through, okay? When she needs me, I'm going to come through. I'm going to pull through. And when that brother is a different level of friendship, that's just what that scripture, that's that's what I received from that scripture. So I love that I can detangle with this. Okay, Tracy, you better go. Okay, I'm going to let this sit on my hair for 10 minutes, y'all. And I'm going to let it do its thing. Let me put some more in the crown of my head. So, you know, I need some more absorption. But I feel this thing working. Oh, work it. Doesn't matter what the problem God will work it out. Woo! Work it, work it, work it, work it. Tracy, okay. All right, Tracy, you got my attention. Okay, let me put it on them edges. Tracy, does it work on the edges though? Tracy, does it work on the edges? <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's talk about how to end um, a relationship that's not for you. Oh, let me say this. <laughs> a lot of times the reason why a relationship is not working is because God did not ordain that relationship, that friendship, okay? You can have relationships, and we talked about the associate the neighbor, the companion, the uh, co-worker, okay? I say, this is something I learned. Let the person be who they are to you and let them earned, earn friendship. And what I mean by earn friendship, something that's ordained by God and something that a person that's supposed to be in your life. Girl, am I showing too much? Oh, God. <laughs> A person that is supposed to be in your life, they're either going to be there for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And so, friendship, you're in for life, okay? And that is not a prison sentence. It's actually something that I feel like, you know, there is, there are people that are supposed to be there to coach you, to lift you up to cry with you, to help you get to your purpose and destiny and, and God. I definitely believe that. Um, 
there are people there supposed to be there for a reason and sometimes we feel like we're obligated to that person they did one good deed for us and now we are totally committed to that person well you know he was my first girl that don't mean that he is your forever those relationships that god did not ordain though that the ones that you know are are no good you gotta just let it go and i know sometimes um i know i've ended those unfriendly french relationships um those relationships that were not for me i just went silent y'all i just went ghost you know when somebody said oh they went ghost literally go ghost i think sometime and they're like what's going on and i remember having to end a relationship and the person was like what what did i do wrong what what is going on like and you know to me the best way to handle something is to only deal with you not to really point fingers with me what i i did let um this particular person know is like listen my path right now is going into a different direction and i just need some like i need it to be and i honestly i was honest with this and that's the best way to be you know i'm going in a different direction and i think that i'm just gonna need some time to really like silence a lot of the activity you know i i, I need to really commune with god because i'm feeling that there is a different direction that i need to go into you didn't lie a different direction means that you are on a different path okay i've had to do that a couple a, a several times and i was like listen i remember another relationship i was like we're going to into two different paths on two different paths and i see that and i was i was straight up and i was honest and i was like God is just sending me in this different direction. Like, I love you. But I see God taking me in a different direction. I never want to put the blame on anyone that they were doing something wrong. God dealt with me that this is, you know. the And that's basically the, the, the perspective that I gave. Is that God is dealing with me to go in a different direction. He didn't, obviously, he didn't tell that person because they're still doing what they're doing. But honestly, I felt convicted. I felt that um, ending that relationship, and it really wasn't a friendship, ending that relation, the relationship, will it ever be formulated? Sometimes people need time them, with themselves to see, to see themselves. I know God was like, listen, if you keep going down that path, with that person the end is not going to be good for either one of you guys so i god put it on my heart too late and, and you know some people say god said god laid it on my heart literally i was like if i don't have to end a relationship i don't want to burn bridges so that's why sometimes you really even have to be led on how to and pray about and like you know and don't be malicious with it some people say well i prayed about it and you know you a mess okay let's turn up the heat i'm going to uh, put a towel over here and it's going to generate some more heat for this deep conditioner hold please okay oh i feel i feel like i'm at the spa yes i had to end the relationship several relationships that i connected myself to and when i i just want to say this is don't ever feel obligated to anyone that is ordained or that comes into your life to bless you to formulate a relationship with that person there have been people that have come into my life that was only there to bless me to give me some information to relay something and we have to be careful on not attaching ourselves to people that were there just for a season or just for a reason that's why the discernment and really hearing the voice of god to say no when it's time to move on from from that relationship because relationships can be short um i just you don't want to make them longer than they should be and i am so guilty of and but learning from those things 
that person was only supposed to give me that word from the Lord. And that's it. I didn't have to like formulate that because it then it, it becomes a different thing. It becomes and it changes and you can see the change and you like, mm. you know, we need to see those red flags even as a relationship progresses. Mm. No. Mm -mm. And it's OK. I believe that it's not a it, we shouldn't be afraid to make friends or to be friendly. I think that we should guard our hearts and discern and really pray about the people that we have it that we need in our lives. I remember when I first met my husband, he was my friend at that time. We just encouraged each other. You know, he was going through something and I was like, God bless you. Um, I'll be praying with you. And it was like, no, like, you know, oh, I'm trying to holler or anything like that, you know. And um, it was just a real cool relationship. And then it formulated into, hey, like, you're into, you know, you love God. I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? No, it was never like that. Um, I, I just think that being discerning of like moving forward of relationship, having things in common. I believe that it's very hard for a person who is a God worshiper, a person that has beliefs, you know, I wouldn't go out and uh, be friends with someone against those beliefs because then um, do I truly, I, I need to stand for what I believe in and find like people and like minded people and people that's going to elevate my level of thinking i'm continuing to read god's word um and if i read god's word i will see the people that are not supposed to be in my life versus the ones that agree with me i hope that makes sense i'm just i'm learning more and more that if i want to be wise be around some wise people Okay, be around some people that are older than me that I can glean from. And you know, when older people are telling me these things, it's not that they want me to live miserably. They have had an experience and they don't want me to make the same mistake. Now, there are some mean old people, but there are some people that, we, you know what, when you catch on to that wisdom, you glean from. There was a particular evangelist in my the ministry that I grew up in. And she would take me to service, take me to church from the college campus. And that was our time together and everything. And I remember talking to her about my friend at the at the time, uh, Forrest, being my, who was my friend at the time. And she was like, you know, he seems like a very nice person. Now, I thought that what well, it was really important to me that the people that I considered wise and considered having some sound value about a uh, about a relationship and really talking to God about you know listen God like I want to be I want companionship like he said that you said that it wasn't good for man to be alone I don't want to be alone I do desire companionship some people are like I'm good with being single and uh, we can talk about that in another video I know we always talk about that but there is a difference between being single, but not alone. You can be single, not alone, you know, and single is I enjoy every moment of being single. But I can tell you, I love being married. I love being married. And I believe that we should be content in whatever state that we're in. If we're single until God sends us that person, work on me. I should be a wife before I get the role. It's just like I need to have those qualifications before I get the role on a new career. I have to have those qualifications. I may not have known the job already, but at least I need to have some requirements, some prerequisites. OK, so I'm just saying we going into a different area, you know, snatch back, come back, Melissa, real back. We we're talking about friendships, but um, I just wanted to talk about that. I definitely will leave some scriptures down below. And let me know what you guys think. Give some nuggets, some gold nuggets down in the comments for someone to be encouraged, to uplift. That's all we want to do here. Um, any of the negativity, bad comments. Thank you so much. First of all, you guys, on the last video, everybody is super uplifting and positive, And I, I, I love it. I love 
I love when people are, are inspired to move on and, you know, make friends and keep friends. And a lot of that is working on ourselves. Working on me is going to make me a better friend. Working on, God, how can I be a better friend to my husband? How can I be a better wife? Being a better wife to me is being, you know, being a better wife is being a better friend. Being a better friend is being a better me. So working on me ultimately is going to like kind of cover all of those, of those things. I want to be a friend to my children. You know, I know I'm a parent, but I want to like gain knowledge i've gained knowledge from my children y'all and oh my goodness that has been a journey and i'm really really excited about that um nurturing my 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 children to be better friends um to be a friend of god um that is like my goal right now and um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the journey i i'm really before i couldn't embrace that but i really am embracing uh, God in a different way. I think that because I'm embracing God a different way, he's revealing more and more things um, through his word and through prayer and devotion to me and, and to my husband and to our family. And I hope you guys are being helped by these conversations. So in the next video, I know I was looking at the poll on the community tab, you guys. So check it out. The poll right now says that the next Courageous conversation will be done. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, please. Okay, so let's talk about next week. Okay, next week's video. Let me know. I'll leave a poll right here how to make a setback a comeback or to go from bitter to better, opening up after hurt. So, those are the choices, you guys. Let me know or put a comment down below. And if it gets more likes than the topics that I'm talking about, I'll definitely do that one first. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you are finding these courageous conversation things that we don't want to really talk about, but we need to really talk about. I hope that you're finding this helpful. I, this was definitely inspired by um, a devotion and a prayer to God that I had and um, this really came through fruition through actually some hurt and some pain that I just recently uh, gone through. But y'all, I went through it and we're going to talk about it probably. I don't know when I'm led to talk about it. I definitely will open up and talk about that thing. But I definitely want to gain some more knowledge, some more wisdom, some more understanding about that before I really talk about it. Because I definitely do pray about things before I bring it to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.